The uh, my friend John reminded me that that this stretch of road here was the old Dubuque Trail uh, that first led into Rochester, and somewhere in this vicinity, and I think it's close to where the depot was, was where George Head built uh, the first house, and it was really an old cabin that was here in Rochester when he when he first settled it, and uh, he named it after Rochester because he came from uh, Rochester, New York and right where, kind of where we're standing there was a 16-foot waterfall which uh, uh, provided power for a number of mills that were right along here and it reminded him of Rochester, New York so uh, that's how we got the name. But the, uh, the reason I wanted to stop here is here, this is the Riverside building that was built in 1918 and it was a, it was a grocery store uh, there was, they had tires in there, it was an auto dealership, an auto repair shop, and the water used to run right underneath this building. Um, and then they, they rerouted the river uh, a number of years ago. But, but that building was really probably one of the, you know, the first preservation uh, retrofits that was done by a, a, a woman by the name of Louise Hill. Some of you may know her. And uh, she took that building, I think John can correct me if I'm wrong, it was at risk of being torn down. She said that no, that's just a beautiful building. If you go in there, the cast iron staircases and all the interior work, and you can see kind of the uh, exterior detail work. She decided no, that shouldn't happen. And uh, she proved to be prophetic because it's, it's struggled over the years finding tenants, but now it's, uh, it's fully occupied and it's, a, you know, it's, it's part of the community. It, and, uh, you know, it's crawling with lawyers. That can be a good thing or a bad thing, you know. Kevin, huh. did you mention it was a corporate office for Greenway Co-op? I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, wasn't that right, Alan? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a corporate but it's, office for Greenway Co-op that's still around. But it's had a very storied history. And so now we're going to go to my favorite building, uh, right up on the corner. And, well, look, while we're here, it's probably a little quieter right here, but... Um, this building on the corner is the is the Kelly building and it's the first brick building that was ever built in Rochester and it was built in 1858 um, and it's had a number of different lives and uh, I was blessed and fortunate enough uh, in 1992 to buy that building with my parents and my wife and we restored that and it's just a great old building and right on the corner if you go down in the basement, there's a, there's a spike. It's about that big. The entire city of Rochester is platted off the corner of that building. And legend has it that the city stopped uh, a block from the edge of that building and that George Head got a team of ox and some logs and they dragged them down Broadway and that's, what, that's why Broadway runs that direction. And uh, that, was the, that was one of the first streets. So, and we didn't cross the street because it's too dangerous in Rochester at this time of night, but if you stand over on this side of the, of the street and you look at the Kelly building and then you look at the Plummer building, uh, it's just a visual uh, image of the transformation of this community from just this small little prairie town to, uh, with this simple brick building to the most ornate building, one of the most ornate buildings in the United States that tr transformed this community into a medical mecca. So if you're ever over here, just take a look at that and, and you'll see this little Kelly building and in, it, immediately in the background is the Plummer building. It's a, it's a wonderful visual. So we'll head up this way, okay?